Tiger of the day is Cameron, and he is ready for your questions. We'll start on the left side of the room. Dan Peck, ESPN 1067 in Auburn. Cam, what does it mean uh, to be selected as one of the three representatives for Auburn by the new coaching staff? Uh, it's really just an honor um, to, that they think that I'm the Auburn man, and uh, I'm just excited to be, uh, be here and be able to represent the Auburn family. I've, I've had great people around me helping me the whole way, and um, it's, it's really just an honor. Another question? Coach Freeze was up here earlier, and he said he likes to bring an offensive lineman. Feels like it takes a, you know, you need someone representing the line of scrimmage For sure. up there. In, in practice, can you tell that he has a focus on the offensive line and, and takes a particular interest in your position group? For sure, um, he's definitely over there, over there coaching us and, and taking an interest. Uh, I think everybody's working really hard, and Coach Thornton's doing a really good job of leading us, and um, just really excited about it. For sure. Second row, Chris Williams, CBS Oklahoma, Cam. The Sooners coming to Auburn next year. What should fans, what should the team expect to experience at Jordan-Hare? Uh, the best atmosphere in the country, man. There's, there's nothing like Jordan-Hare, and I'm, I'm for sure it's going to be rocking for that game. So uh, they should be excited for it for sure. Left side, third row. Jeff Spiegel, ABC 3340 in Birmingham. Cam, how big was what Cadillac did late in the t season taking over as interim head coach? bringing the energy, and how much of a carryover carry goes into this year? Uh, I think it was huge. Uh, I think everybody loves Cadillac, and uh, he, he's the definition of an Auburn man. So uh, having him go out there and lead us was, was big, and, and that momentum definitely carried over into the spring. And I think we felt that um, continuing to carry over into the summer and, and then carry over into the fall. Third row. Cam, uh, Jamal Kennedy, WSFA 12 Sports in Montgomery. Um, What's your favorite part about game days inside Jordan Hare Stadium? Uh, you said inside, but I got to say, Tiger Walk is probably one of my favorite parts. And then coming out into the stadium and seeing the fans, uh, there's nothing like the atmosphere in Jordan Hare. So getting to be out there and, and to, to go to war with my brothers and, and see the Auburn family out there supporting us, there's, there's nothing like it. Right side, front row. AP Stead of AP and Kelly, as we see at Syndicated Radio. Uh, Cam, what are some of the differences? with the offensive line, with the new coaching staff, pass mm -hmm. blocking, run blocking? Uh, I, I think the biggest difference is just the uh, level of experience we have. We got a lot of older dudes over there now, so um, and a lot of new dudes. So just building those relationships and getting to know each other has been huge. Uh, focusing on communication and, and those little details and intricacies of the play is, is really big. Left side, second row. Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. What's it like playing for Hugh? And uh, I mean, just how does he fit at Auburn? Mm -hmm. Uh, he's, he's done a really good job focusing on the details and, and just being grateful and, and being thankful that we have the opportunity to go out there and play every day. That's one of his, been one of his big messages, so uh, I've really enjoyed it a lot. Front row. Uh, Chris Farble in KCOU 88.0 FM in Columbia. Uh, Cameron, of course, a lot of transfer, a lot of incoming transfers in year one are Hugh Freeze, namely on the offensive line. I believe you guys have brought in five guys online in the portal. I just want to ask you, for a unit that, that didn't play, that, that, that struggled some last year, how do you expect these um, incoming transfers to help improve the play along the line of scrimmage in 2023? Mm -hmm. uh, they can all play, man. Every, every dude we brought in is, is talented, and uh, they're all doing a really good job working hard and, and getting after it. So uh, I'm excited to go out there with those guys, and we're making each other better. We're competing, so uh, it's going to be really good. Left side, back row. Yeah, Nick Kuzma, Fox 54 Sports in Huntsville, Alabama. Not, obviously not yes, too sir. far from your Two hometown. Five, six. I'm just wondering uh, what the uh, Killen community means to you and, and sort of how did they set you up and support you mm -hmm. uh, to being where you are, both the community as well as Brooks High School too. Yeah, so uh, growing up, man, that, that family atmosphere, that home environment, man, that was that was big to me and uh, supported me all the way, all my coaches, all my, my family, my friends, everybody. So uh, coming to a place like Auburn, you feel that all the same. and. Uh, it's, it's just been really big. That was that was one of the main points in my recruitment. That that was the reason I came here. So uh, I've loved it. Fourth row, Kim, you're up here representing the Auburn offensive line. Anyone from that group who's had a really strong offseason? Anyone who's impressed you uh, with the work they've put in the last couple of months? Mm -hmm. I, I think everybody's doing a really good job. I, I've gave Connor Lou a couple of shout outs. He's as a young guy that's come in. Uh, I'm really impressed with him and excited to see what he does in the future. Why is it that offensive linemen have the best personalities and they're the most interesting group to talk to on on, a, on the team? <laughs> I, I guess we're just the best, man. I don't know, but uh, I, I think it has to do with that that uh, just the mentality you have to have to play O line. Uh, we don't get a lot of the recognition. We don't get a lot of the, the type of stuff like this. So uh, whenever we do get the opportunity, that it's really it's really fun. Left side. 
you, you talked about you know Cadillac and what, what he means to you guys, but how, how pivotal was that Texas A&M game uh, last mm -hmm. year? It was big, man. Um, that, that was some of the best energy I've seen. Uh, probably top three games I've, I've seen in Jordan Air, the energy energy wise. So um, it was huge. And, and like I said, that, that momentum will carry over and continue to carry over and, and we're going to keep it pushing. And how much are you looking forward to going uh, to College Station this year? It'll be fun for sure. Uh, they're always well coached, got a great team. So uh, definitely looking forward to playing them. Right side. Kim, first time uh, California and Auburn will play. You're looking forward to the West Coast trip mm -hmm. against a Pac-12 team. Yeah, I, I actually just went to California like a week and a half ago, so for the first time. So I'm excited to go back out there and, and on a business trip this time and, and get to work and, and get, hopefully, yeah, it'll be fun. Left side. Simon Williams with WZDX 554 in Huntsville as well. It, the, the growth of the line through your time there with different coaches, it, Specifically into this season, how would you describe the trans, uh, transformation and playing in front of and, and behind some of uh, the new offensive uh, talents as well? Um, yeah, I think everybody's doing a really good job. It, it's been a lot of fun playing next to those guys. So a lot of experience around the offensive line, um, and they're all doing a really good job. So play, playing next to those guys, not just on offensive line, but uh, going up against the new dudes on defense and, and, and uh, wide outs, seeing the wide outs go, seeing the quarterbacks, everything, it's, it's been really fun. Third row. Uh, just, you know, speaking about Cadillac really quickly, uh, he's an Auburn guy, an Auburn man through and through. How important was it to keep uh, him around on this coaching staff and just knowing what he means to the, to the university and this team? Mm, I think that's big, was big for everybody, uh, seeing him get to come back. And like you said, he, he's the definition of an Auburn man. And uh, I mean, having those guys around is, is really big. Uh, Kendall Simmons is another one of those guys that uh, he's, he's a definition of an Auburn man. Um, so just shout out to them and really excited about that for sure. Back row. You got to go up against some of the D linemen in, uh, in the spring and you know, presumably since then. But uh, uh, what can you tell us about the Auburn defensive line? Marcus is back. Jason's mm -hmm. back. You got some new additions as well. Yeah. Uh, you, what should folks expect out of those guys? Uh, they're doing a really good job. We've been going at it. We went at it all spring. We're, we're going at it competing during summer workouts. So it's been really fun. Um, I'm excited to see those guys go out there and, and dominate against whatever offensive lines they're going against. It'll be really fun. Is there a final question? We're good. Thanks very much, sure. Cameron. Thank you all.